book, Women Preachers in the 21st Century Pulpit, was published in 2014 and became a course offered at UCU in the fall of 2014. Jackson published Spiritual Warfare Manual in 2016. Dr. Jackson has released the sermon CD, Flawed But Not Fraudulent, which was the commencement speech she delivered for UCU's 11th commencement. The Life of Christ was published in 2021 and is offered as a class in UCU. Dr. Jackson's vision is to uplift, encourage, motivate and equip God's people to prosper in every area of their lives. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false, he will receive blessing from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you first lady and birthday celebrant, Bishop Dr. Pamela S. Jackson. <laughs>
Amen? Amen. Amen. Our scripture lesson for this third Sunday in February, 2022, will be taken from Luke chapter 8, verses 40 through 48, the New King James Version. So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had an only daughter about 12 years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes thronged him. Now a woman, having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and you say, Who touched me? Somebody touched me, for I perceived power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not him, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you now. Go in peace. The word of God for the people of God. And now, my sisters and brothers in Christ, please stand to your feet to receive to the Holy Desk to deliver our First Lady's Day message entitled, She Left Fingerprints, Our Pastor, Teacher, and Presiding President, Bishop, Dr. George Hughes. Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. God bless you. I give the Lord a hand down for you. Join me in the church by you. Began to worship. Yes, 
and praise him. They were captured by his facade. For well, here he was, a Jewish rabbi. Here he was, a prophet from God. Yes. Here he was, the carpenter's son Amen. from Nazareth. Uh -huh. yes. But they knew if they could just get close to him, mm -hmm. that there was a possibility that their life would be changed yes. forever. Yes. And as he walked through the crowd, a synagogue ruler from Capernaum by the name of Jairus, yes. he came from his luxury home into this ghetto area and swallowed his pride. Uh -huh. uh -uh. And the word, word says he failed. And yes, you will speak. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, my friends, this was no small situation because you see, he was the ruler of the synagogue. Uh -huh. He was the master in charge of the synagogue. Uh -huh. And through the synagogue, he had become a rich man yeah. with power and status. Yeah. But now, he is groveling at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. Now my friends, what I want you to see here is that Jairus, being a synagogue ruler, that means that he was a member of the Sanhedrin. Yeah. And being a member of the Sanhedrin council, he was part of the conspiracy mm -hmm. that was planning on assassinating Jesus. He sat in on the meeting when they tried to figure out how they would trap him in his words. He was in the planning session that uh, was trying to catch him at the Passover and do away with him. But something happened in his household. Something happened in his family. His precious daughter, uh -huh. his only child, yeah. 12 years old, uh -huh. good God of mine, yeah. she had become gravely ill uh -huh. to the point that she was bedridden. Yeah. And seeing that she was at the end of her rope, Jairus told her mother, I only have one alternative. Uh -huh. to go see the doctor. Yes, 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 oh, Lord. Yes, 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 when, yes. when the stuff hit the bank, yes, 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 you yes, got nowhere else to go. Yes, yes. You have to swallow your pride yes, uh, yes, and yes. go see the doctor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he went to the shore where the crowd was gathered. Uh -huh. And when he saw yes. In his rabbinic costume, mm -hmm. in his five garments mm -hmm. adorning his body, yeah. he realized that though he was planning to kill him, the only way that he was going to save his daughter yeah. was to submit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at some point in your life, you're yeah. going to get tired of fighting. You're going to yeah. get tired of yeah. being a tough guy. You're going to get tired yeah. of trying to handle it yourself. Well, when he fell at Jesus' feet, yeah. Yeshua knew who he was yeah. because this is the synagogue ruler that handed him the scroll right. in Mark chapter 1 uh -huh. when he opened it up and read from Isaiah uh -huh. and said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is that same synagogue ruler who took the scroll up when Jesus sat down and said, in your very hearing, you have seen history. Yeah. 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 And now, he was begging. Uh -huh. And Jesus didn't do like us. Jesus didn't say, oh, I heard you were trying to get me. Yeah. 
would have divorced her because she would have made him unclean. Yes, yes. She was desperate. She was lonely. Her body was weak. Her mind was ill at ease. And then she heard in the streets that a healer was coming to town. She heard in the community that there was going to be a clinic in Capernaum. A mobile clinic was coming. And she did something that she hadn't done in years. She went out in public among the people. Cloaked herself in anonymity so no one would know her identity. Unclean. She was supposed to yell at a hundred feet away. She was supposed to yell unclean, but this time she wrapped a mask around her face. And she stood in the crowd and saw Yeshua coming through the streets. She said, here's my big chance. I can shake his hand. I can get his attention. Maybe he'll declare a healing on me. But when she tried to press and push and force her way through the crowd, the crowd wouldn't part and let her in. And I don't blame the crowd. If Jesus is in your midst, if he's in your presence, And begin to think that there's some type of power. Yes, that's good. 
in material. Power in substance. Power in some clothing. But, you see, the power wasn't in the tassel. Power was in the man who was wearing the tassel. Peter 
He doesn't have a filter. You know, like loose ship, loose lips, sink ships. Peter hauls off and says, of course somebody touched you. It's 10,000 people out here trying to feel you. Somebody touched you, of course. But you see, this was no ordinary touch. This was a touch that was tinged by faith. This was a touch that was covered by tears. This was a touch that had been through bloodshed. This was a touch that was deeper than the natural touch. Jesus turns around, looks around him, and his eyes locked on the woman who thought she had got away. And when Jesus called her out, the woman knew that she was cold busted. She knew that she was subject to being stoned to death. But she came forward and fell at the master's feet and said, it was I. Uh -huh. I touched you. Yeah, yeah. I know I was wrong. Mm. But I was tired yes. of being tired. Right. I was sick yes. of being sick. Yeah. I didn't want to live mm. with this agony any longer. So I touched the Talit. Yeah. And I want to report that when I touched the Talit, something happened. Woo! I was shackled by a heavy burden. Uh -huh. Me for load of guilt and shame. Yeah. Then the hand of Jesus touched me. Yeah. And the songwriter said, now I am no longer the same. He touched me. Yes. 
the guidance counselor told her she'd do better going to a community college. But a sister who really cared told her, we're going to send you to Western Salem State. And she went to Western Salem State. And she marched in front of the band. She had fingerprints of excellence. On those who would come and march behind her in the years to come. She had fingerprints. Yes, she did. And, and the Lord blessed her and gave her a beautiful baby girl named Ashton Jamel. She had fingerprints on Ashton. Yes, she did. She had fingerprints. Graduating from Walden University with a master's in business administration. She had fingerprints. Receiving her PhD in leadership. She had fingerprints. On the Cornerstone University, being one of the first graduates from any program, being one of the first to receive the Masters of Divinity, and the valedictorian receiving the Doctor of Ministry. She left fingerprints. Fingerprints in every crowd that she held, moving the people to sneak from their desks and come and sit with her and ask her to pray for them. She left fingerprints. Uh, when we went to India, the people gathered around her and just wanted her to touch them, wanted her to speak a word of life over them, wanted her to lay healing hands on them. She left fingerprints in South India. The fingerprints of the world. 
these elements, O oh Lord, have been designated as a facsimile of your body. These elements are a propitiation of your flesh and your blood. As we bow our heads and humble our hearts, we surrender to you all of our cares, all of our worries, all of our frustrations, all of our hatreds, all of our prejudices, all of our grudges. We retreat from them now. And we turn over to you our minds, bodies, and our spirits. As we eat and as we drink, Lord, let it be nourishment and strength for our soul. And today, Lord, let us not take it in vain, yes. but let us understand the gravity of this moment. We memorialize your sacrifice. One sacrifice for all forever that you set on the right hand of God. Bless these elements in the perfect name of Jesus who paid it all. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. At the hand of these elders, you'll receive the sacraments on today. Please do not reach into the communion tray to grab a uh, communion piece, but allow the elder to serve you. We're still in a COVID Amen. reality. Yes. And we yes. do what we can to avoid and to alleviate possible spread. Amen. So the elders will serve you. They'll give you the, the bread. They'll give you the cup. And as they serve you, you will hear them saying, the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and shed blood for remission of sin. Oh, the blood. 